when we start talking if we just started talking what would happen we would just have to re turn on machines yeah and re re talk which is maybe a little bit tiresome I forgot about the the turning on the machines part for a minute but I, I figured it out eventually it's ooh, Tuesday how you doing it, it feels like a Friday to me it does because every day is Friday to Carl it is well you don't have to go to uh, I, I I said so the cubicle so on the other end of this camera, mm. you know, at when you know the viewers, uh -huh. there's there's some sort of dial tone. There's like everyone, everybody's <laughs> minds are going portal four. File not found. Friday every day. Every day, yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll have what Carl's having. Yeah. Because I'd like to have every day to be a Friday. That would be great. What do you? What you, you don't? You don't have a, You have to go to the cubicle. <laughs> Yeah, well, um, um, office. That was an interesting movie. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see it? I, I saw it. Did you relate? I, I, I could relate, yes. Hmm. <laughs> Very much so. I, I could, uh, you know, say bad printer and take it to the middle of the field mm -hmm. and do stuff to it. Have you, you had, I've never really had too many issues with printers. <laughs> printers have worked pretty well for me. Really. Well, I, I'm not. I'm not saying you know. Well, maybe I could be saying printers, but I would be saying to uh, uh, about technology in general. Mm -hmm. like, uh, you don't work, so you must be broken by my firm hand or whatever. Have you ever smashed a piece of electronics out of uh, anger before? In I've the never done the that. Field? Uh, no, but. <laughs> You know, there's always tomorrow. Yeah. You never did that movie out at anywhere at other, other setting, though? Uh, definitely not at a workplace. Yeah. No, no. No, no. But maybe no. in the parking lot? Uh, what are you insinuating? <laughs> I don't Do you remember an episode that I don't? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't remember one. <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm not insinuating. I, I'm just being the clown. Okay. Without my clown nose on. Every mm. one, once in a while, I have a clown nose on, but you do? Yeah. The the clown nose that I had was uh, just like a um, uh, cheap, um, uh, um, uh, uh, squishable like foam. Foam. Uh huh. And you know when you shake your head. You know, it just like comes off. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, I'm probably in the market for you know a, a nose that you know I can you know super glue to my nose. Yeah. And then I could pull off once it's done for me to be a, a clown. Oh, then you don't want super glue. Then you want some kind of makeup putty. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Super glue until you know it's like done. Well, if, you, if you super glued it to your face, then you would have probably foam stuck to your face for a while. R well, uh, yeah, th that's why I'm, I'm saying super glue that's removable. Yeah. So I feel like for you. Sure, whatever. I don't know. Come on, work with me here. I'm Carl. Uh, so what happened to the nose? Did you, did you wear? Did you wear it like regularly, like around around in public and stuff? Or? Yeah. You know, at my Unitarian Church, mm -hmm. there's a uh, um, laughter yoga, and uh, for those that know the name, just be the clown. Ah, uh, yes. Do, do you want uh, uh, the tongue of Charlie to come around? Yeah. Charlie, come on. Here. Come on, lick it up. Right there. There you go. Emergency, emergency. Um, uh, 
food cleanup repair service. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, um, um, at the Unitarian Church that I go, the one that, you, you know, you, you're not such a, a fan of because uh -huh. you hate choice for whatever reason. Oh, I don't hate choice. I, I, I want them to choose. Y yeah, y you, you might be the person that said, darn, I wish I would have taken the blue pill in the Matrix. What? Why? What? Why do you think? Because you hate choice. Because anyway, I hate no, choice? this is the weird segue. Let me talk, talk about the clown nose. I don't and hate anything. We can get back to the Matrix. <laughs> you have back to me, accusing me of hate. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, there's also Miss Kate that sometimes goes to the Un Unitarian Church in order to teach laughter yoga. Uh -huh. Just be the clown is, is kind of uh, somewhat of a regular there most days. Mm -hmm. you, you know, until he has some sort of calamity or, you know... Um, Just be the clown with the laughter yoga? Yeah, yeah. He, uh, 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 unless he's, you know, like touring southern Puget Sound or, you know, he has... He tours as a clown? What? What is laughter yoga? It, it, it's like where you kind of exhale your stale air in your lungs and you um, inhale um, uh, fresh <laughs> oxygen. <laughs> like and, and breathing? Well, like breathing, but you're also kind of like giggling, like <laughs> And then after a while, the laughter becomes contagious. And, you know, I'm one of the, the first to say, you know, I, I'm one of the first that is like, uh, 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 I can't contain my laughter because I'm always, uh, 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 and, you know, it's like, uh, uh. anyway, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Every, everybody gets together and laughs a lot. That's the, that's the thing, huh? Uh, yeah, that's kind of laughter yoga in in a certain sense. People, how many people dress up like a clown? Do they just just be? Uh, yes, just just be. But you know, I I think I'm I'm. You gonna join? Uh, you know, I I have this uh, knack of, of making people laugh. Don't laugh, Freddy. Okay, he's not laughing. Clown. You're, you're, you're a funny Freddy's guy. Freddie's not laughing when he reviews this whole footage, you know, or, or you know, makes cuts or whatever. Does, does no Freddie watch every single episode straight on through? No, he doesn't, he doesn't watch all the way through. Oh, um, well, Freddie might watch this one okay. all the way through if we kind of call him and say, watch Tuesday's episode all the way through. Or not. Ooh, now it's got dog, dog stuff. Hair yogurt. Dog stuff on it. Dog hair yoga. Dog hair yogurt. Mm, yummy. Dog hair yoga, like laughter yoga. Oh, the, well, the, that that is a 404 to be filed, not found. It's like woo. We got some messages. Woo. This first message is from. Uh, I think it might be from Jessica Jesus. This is from the 650 area code. Jessica Jesus? Jessica Jesus. Is, is she related to the Holy Spirit? Oh, I, I don't know if she, is she even there at all. Hello. I just want to tell you that oh, it's my member for the dice game is oh, it's Luke. Yeah, this is Luke. I just left there. But I just want to tell you that my number for the dice game is five. Okay, bye. Oh, that that's from, right. That was from last that night. That number anyway. was five. That was from last night. You see anything on the streets in the last uh, 24 hours there, Carl? You see, uh, you go out there at all? Uh, uh, what are you insinuating? That I get out in the world? Yeah, I mean, yeah, a little bit. I think hopefully. <laughs> No, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm a person in the cave. That, that's what I am. See anything in the cave? Spiders. Was there? You see any spiders? 
of dancing flickering light on cave walls, maybe, from campfires. You have a fire inside your home, is it? No, I'm um, teasing. Um, did you see any spiders though? I saw a spider, I think, today. I saw a dead spider. It was almost worse. I thought, like, I think it was, it was floating. Hopefully it wasn't at your place was, of work. It was in the drain. It was, was in it the drain. No, it work? was in the drain. Well, there could be trains at your place of work. Mm mm. Since it was at home. It was at home. Um, and we got some a message. I mean, uh, the dice game. Right. We need to uh, get a number. Luke wants to, or yesterday he wanted to find me anyway, but. I was going slow to pick his number. No! Damn it, Charlie! Oh. Stay away from this stuff. I just want to eat, eat my chips in private. Hmm. Okay, here we go. We're gonna roll the dice. Let's see. Oh, where's the camera? Right there. Okay, where's the camera? Is it on? Is the camera on? No. No. There it goes. It's a... Come on, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm rolling it. No, three, try! You won. But you don't get anything yet. Maybe later. Oh, no, no, don't, don't yank him around on his leash. Take his leash off, he's indoors. You don't get to leash him. Unleash! Unleash the dog! I was gonna get you. Uh, unleash him. Almost. Okay, he's unleashed. What are you gonna do now that you've been unleashed? Nothing, he doesn't care that much. Oh, he wants to go that way. Come on. He wants my chips, that's why. Yeah, that's Well, uh, Charlie, you won the dice game. Maybe if you win the dice game overall, I'll give you some chips, but not now. If you win all the way, I'll give you a chip, okay? You, is that a, a fair deal? If you lose, though, you don't get any chips. So you better try real hard to get those dice to roll your threes, okay? Or I could discredit distract him from my Safeway bought chewing gum. Mm, chewing gum. He is distracted. He likes packaging. We got one more message. It's from Dan Dobler. Let's see what Dan Dobler is doing today. Here it is. Oh. Dan Dobler. Hi, Kenny. This is Dan. Hey, Dan. You yeah, haven't coming for a while. Uh, I, I missed you. I've been wrong about that. You, 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 you didn't say that. I did not. I hope you say you. I hope you say you. Why are you a doctor? I uh, am. Uh, yeah, I do Are you a doctor? Uh, yeah. It's kind of even coming kind of back, right? All right, let's call Dan Dobler back. Let's see how Dan Dobler's doing today. Here it goes. Oh, Dan Dobler, where is it? Oh, there it is. Dan Dobler, I might be sleeping or something. Oh, uh, hello? Hello? Hey, Dan. Hello? Hey, it's the program. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, pretty good. We're here at call. Yeah. What are you, what are you doing? Yeah. 
That would be okay. What do you have a bit more? What do you get to eat? Uh, I, I miss you today, where were you at? You miss it? Where were you at? Well, one more time? Where were you at? Oh, I was at work. Oh. What What kind of food do they have there? Uh, they, have, they have pork chops. Oh, pork chops? That sounds pretty good. You seen anything on the street? Oh, go. oh you do? Okay, bye. bye Dan. Thanks for calling. Thanks for leaving messages. Why are you trying to trick him in with gum? Well, you you know that when you uh, distract um, uh, people or, you know, uh, Dogs? beatings with mines with uh, something, you know, like a uh, something shiny or whatever it's like mmm I'll, I'll do you know I'll look at something shiny yeah let's call Elder Gordon this is the Mormon uh, they're scheduled for the program on Thursday I wonder if it's too late to call them you think Mormons stay up immediately late uh, that's the kind of religion that I'm, I'm barely aware of huh and whatnot. I'm going to see if I can reschedule them. Oh, Elder, Elder Gordon. Do you want some of these? No, it's all right. You're just trying to get the dog? It's not the dog's doing fine. You don't have to worry about him. What are you doing? Hey, this is the missionaries from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Elder Gordon and Elder Hill. Sorry we missed your call. If you'll leave us a message, including your phone number and your name, we'll call you back as soon as we get a chance. Have a good one. Hey, Elder Gordon. It's the program. Uh, you can call me back. The number is 330-536-3802. You're scheduled to be on the show on Thursday. I wanted to schedule your time specifically. Uh, I guess you and uh, Elder Hill, apparently. Uh, it's going to be on Thursday, and uh, hopefully you're still coming and planning on coming. We scheduled a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you can call me back, like I said, 330-536-3802. Do you have any, anything to say to the Mormons, Carl? Um, keep your peace and your religious freedom. Peace. Keep your religious freedom. I guess, well, I, I don't know if they please feel religiously. They're, I mean, they're, they're doing what, kind of what they we want. We are supposedly free to practice whatever we want to believe, so... Mm -hmm. You're getting messages on your deep doohickey thing. No, oh, those are private messages. Not for um, not for our messages, but I think that's all the... That's all the messages that we got today. Did you see anything on the news? Any news? Um, no, I'm not too much connected on the news. Any cardboard update? Um, uh, no, not, not too much. Do you have, do you have any, uh, what's, what's your, what, what are you working on right now, a couch or a chair? First a chair? I'm still working on an armchair, and, um, um, I, you know, since, um, I, I, I found something that can maintain my weight mm -hmm. with, um, you know, uh, having cardboard, uh, be, um, an inch thick here and an inch thick here, then I'm gonna try to figure out, okay, so obviously an inch works, um, maybe I could use, like, a jigsaw power tool. Mm-hmm. Um, within, um, a week at, at this, uh, what? someone had, uh, donated, um, um, a shop for me to use. Oh, great. Hey, look, it's about info time. Five, four, three, two, one. Now it's info time.
Here are answers to some frequently asked questions about the program. You're watching them right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with me. It's a call-in television talk show that's filmed right here in Thurston County, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It airs every night at 11.30 p.m. on Channel 22. Um, each episode, well, that print is too small. If you're watching at 2 a.m., that's episode taped in the same month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone can come on the program, especially you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at this number, uh, 330-36302. We'll leave a message. We'll call you back on the episode. Okay, thanks for watching. I think I probably need to do that without chewing gum at the same time. Oh, no, you did fine. That's what you always say. It's always true. <laughs> um, so somebody is, is going to donate me space, mm -hmm. and I have to pay $50 a month. Oh, uh, that's not bad for a shop space, huh? They're yeah. going to have, like, saws and stuff? Um, at, at least maybe, if, if not having, um, saws, like, you, you know, an actual power tool. Mm -hmm. It would it could be at least um, space like this. I haven't toured the place. I haven't met the guy, but you know I'm, I'm reportedly going to meet the guy here. Um, Don't chop off your fingers. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what um, Dan Bennett said. Oh don't, yeah. Don't chop off your f fingers with a uh, one of these jigsaw uh, power tools. Mm-hmm. And That's my good response to that, well, yeah, my response to that was, well, I'm not um, going to use um, a jigsaw um, power tool cutter immediately anyway. Oh, uh, um, well, eventually. Because you know, I, I need to uh, have this, um, um, you, you know, this um, workspace for me to work at. Well, whatever the case is, don't pop off your fingers. That's just a... Uh, it's a good thing to say to people instead of maybe you can say that to buy instead of buy. Like, hey, don't chop off your fingers. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, but you know, while I was um, eliciting these comments, mm -hmm. you know, putting them on Facebook, mm -hmm. um, I um, did not have um, um, any sort of workspace and. You, you know, I, I do know that to a certain degree, my hygiene, the hygiene of my apartment floor and whatnot is is kind of atrocious. And oh, no. Yeah, that, that's kind of what helped, uh, why I, I, I left for um, California in, in somewhat of a fit of depression. Um, you know, my parents and I kind of got in a and the fight about my hygiene. Nevertheless, I um, um, I bought um, a laundry basket, you, you know, with uh, the fishnet liner. Mm -hmm. I can uh, from Target. I can pull that out. I I can treat this um, a laundry basket okay, as a recycling basket instead. And uh, uh, hello. Hello? Hey Dan, Dan Fong is back. How you doing? Well, I, I called you back. What's up? What are you What are you doing? Uh, I, I'm 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 resting. I'm resting. You taking a nap? Uh, am I taking a nap? A nap? Yeah. Are you taking a nap? No. Are you just li Are you lying down though? No. Yeah. Taking a break. You see anything, uh, you out in the sun, you've been out in the sun? You uh, you in the program, you're in the program. Call. Yes. Call, it's Carl, you met him, he, he was a goon. Hi, Paul. Hey there. Do you want to have the noise maker on, or? Leave it on, yeah. It's on. I don't hear anything, though. 
It's time for the next dice game. You want a number, Dan? Well, I'll call you tomorrow. All right, thanks. Bye-bye. I have uh, a couple of uh, Olympian friends uh, that go to full flight with me, so... Oh, uh, yeah? Are you going to go? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Is it on Saturday? Probably gonna coax me out of uh, some sort of um, um, cave that I'm in and say, Carl, let's oh, do this. Oh, get out of your cave, man. Yeah, get out of your cave and let's do this, man. Let's go to Folklife. Come on, let's go to Folklife, man. Four and six. I have to remind myself what I got. Oh, that's right. What is it? Let's see. Hmm. Uh, three? Wait, I can't see it. Where is it? Oh, it's a one. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll mistake that for a three. I thought, I thought that. I, 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 well, I, I don't back, know. I, back. I, I, I I'm kind of interrogating the person. I thought you had a number and it was just the wrinkles in your hand. Uh, I also I, had... Oh, there it is. Oh, we had the same number. Yeah, because we individually think that we're number one, right? Yeah. Yeah, which is... Uh-oh, what are we going to do about that? Hmm. I'm number one. No, I'm not. You can be number one, Carl. I'll, I'll be, I mean, I'll, I'll have the number one, but it, it's your number. You can have it. There's an affirmation at the, at the end of laughter yoga. Mm-hmm. I am incredible. No, that... You are incredible. No. We are incredible. If everybody's incredible, then what does that even mean? And who even cares if everybody is? Some people have to be not incredible for there to be incredible people. Untrue! We are all on pillars of greatness! No, way. if everybody's on the pillars, then what's the point? Who cares if everybody's on the pillar? Some people have to be not good, and some people have to be good, and you can't just say, oh, I'm good, you tell yourself you're good, what is it with that anyway? Uh, well, to all man, that's probably, probably part of Unitarianism. Yeah, no, that's why they're <laughs> bad. Hey, let's call it's it. not bad. It's bad. Hey, let's call it's, Freddy it's the producer. N- no more bad than Buddhism or no. probably Mormonism. Buddhism is better. Buddhism is not about everybody being the same, doing the stuff like that. I mean... Yeah, it is. That's what it thinks... I that's mean, kind of, but not like the, not the affirmation stuff, that's, that I, I find that silly, I find it to be silly. Well, thank you, cause, um, uh, there's... Hey, buddy! There's an audience hey. right here. I'm, I'm checking out some stuff from CCTV, we're getting all closing up here, uh, getting the DV recorder so I can record it. You probably have like a full, full set of tapes there at the studio. Yeah. So that's some production and news. I got to uh, get some captured, but we're all scheduled as, uh, on TV for tonight and tomorrow, so everything's good with that. Uh, how's it going there in the studio? How's the, uh, you got, who's on the couch with you? Hmm. Who oh, am I? Oh, hey. Who am I? Uh, yes. Who Hi, is it? how's it going? Here he said it's good. Uh, good. <laughs> I, uh, I'm chilling yeah, like a I villain. I overcame the headache today that came for no explicable reason. I, I was taking good care of myself, I thought, but it woke up with a crazy headache. But it's gone now, and everything is working out good tonight. Have you been drinking enough water? Um, I might not have been. That's probably what happened. I was out in the desert for two days with my family, and I guess I don't didn't drink enough water. So, uh, mm-hmm. yes. But now I'm good. I'm feeling better. I think it's good a good idea to go to sleep while hydrated, because you know when you're not when you're sleeping, you can get thirsty, but you won't know it because you're asleep. <laughs> yeah, you can't tell. <laughs> you're uh, you're thirsty. I one time was out so thirsty. I was hiking, okay. So, and there was we were uh, we were camping overnight. It was a double double day trip, or maybe like a three day trip. And uh, I was sleeping, and I just got so thirsty that I had dreams over and over and over again of getting up and grabbing my water bottle and <laughs> drinking out of it, like in 
there's many different variations. It's just like happened over and over again. And so finally, I kept like waking up from these and dreaming about them. And I finally woke up and just had to get water before, and otherwise I like, could not sleep. <laughs> it was wild. But luckily I had water, so you know I didn't die at thirst. Oh, that is good. I I was thinking that 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 was where the story was going was that you were in the woods without water. I'm glad you yeah. didn't die without thirst. Uh, Freddy, because the show does probably need a producer. With their every once in a while, yeah. Yeah, yeah this was probably pre-show, so thankfully I had water. Otherwise, you know, who knows what would happen? What would happen to me? Yeah, but uh, yeah. May you be a fish in your dreams. Thank you. Yeah, I, so I, that I like you to are surrounded by water. Hydrated. Is there, yes. is there uh, any uh, TCTV news? <laughs> um, any news? Uh, no, not too much news news, I don't think. So Neil had his uh, first program today. Um, I don't know, let me see. Hey, you guys, is there any TCTV news that happened? I got some. No? Is there any news? I attended oh. a, a studio class yesterday. Oh, yeah? And so I got a... Um, <laughs> oh. um, Two more parts of a three-part studio class. That getting a new microphone any day now. Yeah, it's the people around the world will be able to hear the show clearly. It's going to be amazing. Good. It's sponsored by Maxwell Brown, King of the World. And now I'm going to push the first $20 down to get a microphone for your daily hours. I'm pledging $20 right now. Oh, thank you. That's enough for a microphone. Good idea. That'd be you can't hear me well enough? Max, do you think that the audio quality is too low for you? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Kenny? Yes? Hey, so next Monday, uh, we're going we're gonna to do the show uh, here at the studio. Oh, uh, great. We want to go at 8. Yeah, I need about an hour or an hour and a half or so to teach the students stuff and get them all prepared and ready and practice to be able to do a studio shoot. And so part of the class will be doing your video with me. I will be inviting three or four other former students that want to practice for the show. It looks like um, uh, we'll have about five or six people. So there will be a lot of people to do the shoot, the practice, and, and uh, uh, so we can do the show. And it will all be set up. Great. Uh, at Hello, Mr. Bennett. At 8 o'clock? Uh, 7.30. 7.30, okay. You tell Freddie about that? No. Pardon? You tell Freddie about that? Yeah, Freddie's standing here to sing to me. So, uh, okay. Yeah, and I've already talked to him about it, and I uh, wanted Great. to get everything. You're, you're going to be there, Carl? You're going to be running the cameras, yes, right? Yes, yes. I'll, I'll uh, do some um, practice shots on you personally, Kenny. Oh, great. Are you calling, um, <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you having your students call you Mr. Bennett, Dan? Um... I'll just say yes. Uh, <laughs> what is it? What is he saying, Carlos? Uh, I I can I couldn't call him Dan. How is well. how is Dan as a teacher? I heard that he goes off on a lot of tangents. Um yeah. Well, is he staying focused? Least, as a teacher? Uh, well, yes, but at least he doesn't use um, a ruler upon my knuckles. Uh, is that, is that some your sort of table? As long as they don't hit me, <laughs> then they're okay with me. <laughs> The teacher, I'll just have you guys call me Lord Dandy. Oh, where's Charlie? Charlie? He's inside. Oh, yeah, he is. Okay, good. So call me Sensei. How about that? Yeah. Sensei. Yeah. Hey, Dan, hit hey, Carl. He won't like you anymore. I'll tell you. If he... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Turn it back. Turn back to Freddy. All right. Okay, so we got a plan for Monday. If anything comes up, just have to... Yeah, yeah, the 20th. The 20th. Monday the 20th. Big deal. It'll be important. They're going to use all of the equipment. And I need to show uh, Carl and uh, Bert and Luke uh, the phone set up and the soundboard and all that. So, so yeah. Okay, here's Spring. Bye, Dan. Hey, guys. Hey, great. You hear about that, Freddie? You going to come to that? Five. Yeah, five, I, I uh, eight, don't have to work, so two. I'll be there. Hey, it's time for a commercial five. break. No, oh, it's cool. All right. Well, hey, thanks for calling me program. Um, yep. Dance, holy dance. Bye.
Dance Club Dance. Live TV Dance Party. First Friday of each month. 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. TCTV Studio A. 440 Yager Way. Oh, yeah. Today we talked to uh, uh, Reed and Bird. Yeah. We talked to Mormons. We're trying to get these Mormons on here, but they Elder want. Elder Gordon, Elder Hill. They need more permission. So we talked a lot about that and how they. Uh, you know, we had phone problems. For yeah. some reason, the phone wasn't. The audio wasn't coming through. We're still having phone problems. You hear that phone? Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. 2 11 2 a.m. Oh man, I just saw a giant mosquito and it, I was gonna, I got up to get it, but it got away. Man, we gotta find, we gotta find that mosquito. I don't know where it could have gone off to. Oh. Wow. Oh. Uh, okay. There, I think I fixed the buzz a little bit. Here, move, Charlie. I'm gonna sit down. He's just gonna have to move. Okay. Well, maybe we should call some McDonald's. Well, what do we have scheduled for tomorrow? Did I grab May? No, this is not May. I don't think we have anything scheduled for tomorrow. So, uh, who knows what's gonna happen then? Wednesday's kind of a busy day for me. It is. Oh, whoa! What are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna, you know. Meditate and whatnot. Uh huh. Can I have a piece of your gum? Orbit? Eclipse? Eclipse. Eclipse? Do you want one or two? Oh, you have more than one flavor. What do you do? Do you eat both at the same time? I do. Is that how you like to do it? Yep. Here, I'll, I'll try a Carl gum special, I guess. If that's how you do it. One of each, huh? Here, let's call some McDonald's. We'll call, I guess, Hawaii. This is going to be a double, double mint blast, I guess. Whoa. Whoa, double mint blast. Spearmint and wintergreen or something. Wow, it's two kinds of mint. I can't really tell the difference between mint kinds, usually, you know. Yeah. I could probably tell the difference between dark mint chocolate and you know, like uh, some sort of candy squirrel mint. Oh man, why do you do two of the same kind? I mean, why do you do two at a time? Um, because one might be, you know, like uh, mm -hmm. um, like, uh, after I chew it up for a while, the the, the um, one gum might be small enough to be. Um, size of a head of a pin, and so if, if if there's two, it's double the size. Uh huh. So it's about size, huh? You want more gum? I I mean, you guys can call the show and correct me if I'm wrong, but as you start chewing chewing gum, your <laughs> your patch, you, you, the 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 piece of gum that you're chewing sinks. 
It does? I don't think it stays. I think it stays pretty much the same Shrinks. size. After like, eventually, you know, it, it, it kind of reaches the point where it stops shrinking, though. But two is a good size, huh, two? Yeah. I'm gonna come and say McDonald's. Can I help you? Yes, hi, McDonald's. Do you guys have the uh, coconut pies yet? Hopia? Huh? Do you guys have Hopia yet? Hopia? Yeah. No, not yet. Oh, do you know if it's going to come up? Do you guys have like a calendar that says when the food's coming out? I'm sorry? Do you guys have a calendar that says when the food is coming out? Um, so far it's not Halpia. Right now we have the blueberry running. Oh. Uh, I want to know. Yeah. You don't know when the Hopia is coming though? Is it be maybe in the summer, like in July or? No, I don't know. It comes out monthly. The calendar you're talking about? Yes. Comes out Monday. Oh, uh, what's on the calendar so, for what's on the calendar for this week? Right now we have the Terry Angus. Uh-huh. And and the blueberry pie. Terry Angus? Yes. Is that a different kind of beef? I'm sorry? It's, that's the kind of beef? That's your new beef? It's running right now. Oh uh, what? It's running as a special already. Oh, uh, great. I wonder what the old beef was, if that one's Angus, and maybe the old beef has got to be something too. Is it Chuck, maybe? Um, I need to go now. Okay, you can come visit our restaurant. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hey. Goodbye, McDonald. Have a good one there. Uh-oh, what the? Hey, McDonald? Hello? Hello, hey, do you guys have the Hopia pies right now? No, we don't. Oh, uh, what kind of pies do you got right now? Oh, uh, we have, we only have apple pie and blueberry. Oh, uh, do you know if you're going to get the Hopia pie? Um, not anytime soon. Do you guys have like a calendar that says when it's coming out? Um, I'm not exactly sure when it's going to come out. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. It won't be for another couple months, so. Like in July? Um, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, uh, okay, thank you. Okay. Have a good nice day. How come, wait, I don't know what happened there. Was that weird? That was... <laughs> Wasn't that weird, though? It, it totally was. Like, I thought the phone call was done, but yeah. then it kept on going. It called the second person. I didn't call, I think it called another McDonald's that knows or something. Because I just called Mr. Gintz, I mean, uh, I'm about to call Mr. Gintz too, but I just called uh, McDonald's one McDonald's, and then the second McDonald's answered anyway. That was weird. I don't know how that happened. Something weird is happening. Jenny, please rep replicate that kind of incident again. Yeah. I'd like to see that. Kenny, do it again. Yeah, do I, it I, again. I can't do it again. I don't even do know how I did it the first time. How did that happen? That was do weird. Do it again. I wonder if it just called the same store and then, like, those two people are going to... Do it again. Do it again. I can't do it again, Carl. Do it again. Can't do it again. Five, six, one, one, zero. Blah, 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 Drill. Give about ten minutes or less, or more, a little bit, ten more than ten minutes. About twelve minutes. So, uh, call back. Okay, bye. I'm wondering if Freddy could uh, probably censor the audio. It's possible, but that would be a a task. You know, that would be a an extra long task, and I don't think anybody wants to do that. You know. Too long of a task, really, if you ask me. Here, let's call, maybe we call Bird. He called yesterday. We'll say, how about that weather? Did you, have you been doing your peace, your peace sign holding? Um, no, not last week, because I uh, had ideas of cardboard that was more interesting. Uh huh. Well, I think most things are probably more interesting. Here we go. Let's roll the final dice game. Right now, me and Carl have no points. Charlie has 
500 points. I think it's been a four and a five. And a two, two, four, five, three, I think, so far. No, 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 no. It was, uh, um... Three things. Oh, hello hey, there. Bird. We, we have, um, uh, these kind of dice right there. We're right getting ready now. to play the last dice game. Oh! Whoop. How you doing? Uh-oh. Hold on, you got unplugged. Oh, you, hold on, you got unplugged. What, what'd you say? Oh, I, you know, I'm doing okay. I'm, oh. I'm okay. And you know, it's I have, a, to, I have oh, it's a one. Some improvement in some ways. But Charlie won. Charlie won overall. What's what's going on? That's weird. Oh, um, did I say weird? Didn't you? Or what did you say? I don't know. I can't even remember now. Oh, what's the what? Um, yeah. Charlie won the hey, best. Don't don't prep, I'm man. It's Thanks for calling. I'm glad you called. How's the program? We're here with Carl. Don't don't forget about the forgetfulness, because it happens to everyone. It's like, oh wait, what was I just talking about two seconds ago? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm trying to write an article about climate change for for uh, periodical. What's the it, it's hard. Yeah, that's because it's hard. What's it, what what the do topic you? Is, it's, it's, the topic is not really general. It's just like any aspect of climate change, and so I'm having a hard time deciding on what aspect I want to talk about. Uh huh. Because there's really only room for one, you know, one maybe one and a half or two aspects. But um, anyway, so yeah. Yeah, I, I saw about, the Dalai Lama the speak negative on Saturday. Effects, the negative effects of climate change. Isn't that what you want to focus on? Yeah, climate change. The negative. Don't you? You always want to talk about the negative effects of climate change because you think that climate change is so so bad. I think, right? Well, yeah. I mean, that's you know, it's like the amount of carbon that's in the atmosphere it's been it hasn't been so high in, in carbon for millions of years and and when it was this high before the world was really different the sea level was much higher the temperature was much higher the uh, you know just, everything was very different but that was still there was that dinosaurs uh not i you know that the thing is is that people it's really hard to tell um, when when the atmosphere was really high. As there's estimates that range between three and five million years, but it may have been further back than that. So it's like we don't really know, and that's part of the, the scariness of it is that it's the, this big question mark. People like people fear change. The jo it's like the Joker in Batman, you know. Why don't we just go he's with making it? A lot of, he's making a, a lot of money from, like, from really, like, evil, poisonous industrial activities, and nobody knows what, you know, what's going to happen. Why is everybody so afraid of change? Maybe, maybe, well, the dinosaurs will come back. Well, I can answer that question. Um, uh, there's a, um, a Google Maps kind of, like, a, um, a, a plug-in that um, uh, you can raise and lower the sea level uh -huh. um, on an estimation with uh, Google Maps or whatever. Maybe it was. Uh, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure um, what the uh, mapping technology was, but uh -huh. uh, through this mapping technology, you could uh, hypothesize what kind of um, sea level raise would be happening. And um, um, the, the uh, sea level would rise um, over, like, um, uh, downtown Olympia. Yeah. And, and so if you needed to go to the west side or east side and you lived on the west side or vice versa, you we, couldn't we go through downtown we could go on a, Olympia. We could ride a boat. Yeah. 
Well, th that's the kind of change that I think that people are afraid of. Oh, uh, well, is, you know, is, we can just move the downtown stuff. I mean, that's that's what I think it's going to be a change. We don't need downtown. I mean, it's nice to have it, but was it, would it be like oh, a Kenny. devastatingly horrible to have no downtown? Oh, Kenny. We just move it up the hill a that's bit. That's a good point. Just move it up the hill a yeah, little I mean, bit. Yeah, I mean, in a way, it's just like move on, let it go, you know? Yeah. When you got 75 feet of of sea level rise, you just say, well, that's a loss, you know, we're moving. How, yeah. how do you move so. the historical buildings, so? Well, just why, why are we holding on to these historical buildings? I mean, who's building? Tradition. So, I mean, we're keeping the climate the same for tradition? That's just attachment. Isn't yeah. that just attachment? We're worried about, we're worried about climate change because of downtown and historical buildings? Well, I, I, yeah, I mean, um, buildings that you know but, i mean the, i think the thing the thing more than the buildings is is the people you know is the the problems with you know the population and people are going to be migrating some areas are going to be in may maybe like not very livable and so people are going to be migrating and there's going to be all kinds of like disaster and violence because people can't find a place to live because people can't get along because yeah, and people I think won't be it's going to be a slow well. enough process that people are just going to deal with it on a daily basis, and not it's not going to hit them at once. It's going to go very, very slowly. So if the sea level starting to rise. It's going to, you know, everybody's going to like once the sea level gets to your place, you move, and then it's okay. You know, it's not going to happen in a flash. Well, you uh -huh. never know. Yeah. Well, I, I think true. I know. It's not going to go in a flash. It's not going to suddenly... Get the what about the movie The Day After Tomorrow, or whatever that was? Well, if you're worried about that, then you shouldn't be worried about climate change. And <laughs> you, you know, where so the uh, Statue of Liberty was, you know, um, uh, frosted over, and you, the water came up to her armpit or something? Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of a scary movie. I never saw it. Oh. Yeah, bud. Yeah, I mean, fossil fuels, you know, they, they've done a lot. They've, uh, you know, really changed the world a lot and uh, made life better for many people. Um, of course, they've, they've made life worse for other people at various times as well. Um, hey, great. But, hey, bud, it's the end of the program. You know, we, only, we only have a few minutes left, or I mean less than one minute left. Asthma. There's nobody scheduled for tomorrow. Do you want to come on the program tomorrow? Tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, yes. what time are you thinking? I don't know. I have the day off. I'm looking. We're also looking for the Mormons who are, will be here on Thursday. But it's the end of the show. Thanks, Carl. Thanks for showing up. You're welcome. Two days in a row for you. Thanks, thanks, Bert. Yeah. Thanks, uh, Freddie and Dan Dobler and uh, Luke and Charlie and McDonald. And everyone. And Kenny. And everybody and me, thanks, uh, myself. You gotta thank yourself. <laughs> I well, thank I'm, you. Uh, what, wait, what is it? I would thank you. What's the thing that, I, that you think that, that the church says everybody? Five, oh, I, I'm four, incredible and so are you, ah! Two, one. No, we're not. Some of us are incredible. That makes sense. Some of us are incredible. Thank you, episode number. And TV 22. And at 11.30 and 2 a.m. Thanks, Dan. Dobler and Facebook, Twitter, and free YouTube. archives. FaceTube, uh, Twitter, and phone. Oh, birds. Thank you, birds. Thanks, crew. You guys want to be on the crew? Do it. Think can if you want, though. You like electricity. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Crystal Ball. Thanks, thank DC, you, electricity. CCTV, electricity. Yeah. Jordan E. And Dan Dobler again. Thebaby.com. Thank Check you, it out. Uh, Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Yelm, John Webster. Johnny. <laughs> Johnny Webster. Hey, viewers, thanks. And viewers like you. Hell yeah, dog. Woof, woof. Bye. 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 Bye, bye. bye now. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> bye. Self.